Archiving started. Class, <clears throat> this is an update to the video that I had on measures of central tendency. Uh, the quality wasn't very good, so I'm making a second attempt, hoping that uh, some adjustments I've made will, will solve it. Um, the explanation, again, is that mean, median, and mode are all three measures of central tendency. And uh, at this point, the basic um, measures and something we've all probably at some point have been exposed to. Uh, I'm going to use some examples here just to demonstrate the how-to. Uh, we've had many class discussions on what the weaknesses and strengths of using these uh, particular measures of central tendency, and they're great for basic descriptive tools. But um, let's go through the how-tos, and then we'll talk a little bit more uh, in future modules about some of the nuances that we need to cover. Um, okay. So as you see on the screen, I've got a data set here with five numbers, and each of these numbers we'll call a unit. Uh, each unit represents some kind of measurement. It could be weight, it could be age, it could be height. Uh, at this point, it doesn't matter. What, what does matter is that as you actually are measuring in the future, you know what it is uh, that you're trying to measure. So in this case, we'll just we'll just call these units for the purposes of this particular demonstration. So if you look in this data set, we have five units. Um, and what we're trying to find initially is the middle number, uh, not, in, not in the sense that, that you're looking for the literal middle number, number and the mean, but what you're trying to find is really what the norm of the set is in terms of its tendency. So in this case, if we take the values of each of these numbers and we add them up, we come up with 137 as the total value. And in order to find the mean, we have to divide by the number of units in the data set. So in this case, we have five units. So if you take the, the value and divide by the number of units, in this case, it's five. So 137 divided by five, we have a mean of 27.4. The median is another measure of central tendency. And in this case, we take the same set of numbers in the same values, but we want to rank order them. Uh, in this case, 15 is the lowest and 50 is the highest. So we're ranking ordering by, based on the value, uh, numeric value of each of these uh, units. So if we do that, please note that we have five uh, units again, and so therefore it's an odd number. And when you have an odd number, you take the units and you count toward the middle. In this case, we have five. So we would count three in to find the middle. So from 50, I would count one, two, three. I would find 22. And from 15, I would do the same, one, two, three. So as you can see in this odd set, that 22 is literally the middle number. If we had a, a an even set of units, and I'll use this demonstration down here, um, in this case, it happens to be six, but it could be any even number then what you do is you count in based on that. Uh, in this case, we're going to count in three again. One, two, three. From 55, we have 30. And then from 15, we count up. One, two, three, we have 22. As you can see, there are two middle numbers in this case, 22 and 30. So in this case, what we want to do is add the two middle numbers based on the, the number of even uh, units and divide by the two middle numbers to find the average of those two middle numbers. So 22 plus 30 is 52. If you divide by those two numbers, 22 and 30, we have uh, two, obviously. So 52 divided by two, we find a median of 26. So the measure of central tendency in this case, the middle number is literally 26 in an even set. Again, the nuance and the distinction is based on the fact that this is even, versus an odd number to find the median, okay? All right, next is mode. In mode, all you do is you look for the number that shows up the most frequently in the data set. It's possible to have two modes. That would be called bimodal. But for the purposes of, of this particular um, module, let's just go with what we have here. So we have 55. I've added different numbers to, to show and demonstrate what we're doing. 20, 22, 30, 22, and 15. Well, as you can see, 22 shows up more frequently than any of the other numbers in this data set. Therefore, 22 is the mode. 
So again, these are three basic measures of ten central tendency. Um, in the next video module, what I will do is offer a demonstration on range and variance. Uh, we're talking about, in that case, uh, the average deviation. And so that will be a step in the direction of ultimately understanding the concept of standard deviation. So for now, I will end this module, and I will see you in the next uh, presentation.